Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Angular and ASP.NET Core. Our viewer is curious about the best way to build an Angular 4 app on top of ASP.NET Core, especially after trying out a couple of templates without success. They're looking for a solution that allows them to leverage Angular CLI features like ahead of time compilation, DLLs, and tree shaking, all with minimal configuration. So let's dive in and explore how to make this integration work seamlessly. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. To build an Angular 4 application on top of ASP.NET Core, we first need to ensure that we have the right tools installed. Make sure you have the .NET Core SDK and Angular CLI set up on your machine. Next, let's create a new ASP.NET Core project. You can do this by running the command shown on the screen. This will set up a basic web application. Now we will integrate Angular into our ASP.NET Core project. Navigate to your project folder and create a new Angular application using Angular CLI. After creating the Angular application, we need to configure the AI.NET Core project to serve the Angular files. This involves modifying the startup.cs file to include the necessary middleware. Finally, to enable features like ahead of time compilation, tree shaking, and more, ensure that your Angular build configuration is set up correctly you can run the application using the command shown. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To build an Angular 4 app on top of ASP.NET Core, it's best to separate the front end and back end if you don't need server side rendering. This approach offers several advantages. First, separating the two layers allows for better technology separation, making it easier to manage each part independently. Second, you can publish the front end and back end on separate servers or sites, providing more flexibility. Third, if you need to scale your back end, you can do so without affecting the front end, allowing for more granular scaling. Lastly, caching your front end is easier since it's just static files, unlike a mix setup where caching becomes complicated. So consider these points carefully when making your decision. Hope this helps. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To build an Angular 4 app on ASP.NET Core, start by using the updated SPA templates that now support Angular 4. This allows you to leverage server-side rendering and other benefits without removing existing features. First, install the necessary templates using the command line. 
run .NET New, install Microsoft.ASP.NET Core at SPA templates, followed by .NET New Angular. Next, modify your project files to upgrade from Angular 2 to Angular 4. This includes changes in Webpack configuration, package.json, and other files to remove Angular 2 dependencies. Finally, run npm commands to clean up and install the necessary packages. Use npm prune, npm install, and build with Webpack. Following these steps will successfully set up Angular 4 on .NET Core while maintaining hot module reloading and Webpack functionality. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To build an Angular 4 app on top of ASP.NET Core, remember that .NET Core is flexible with front-end frameworks. You can use Angular's HTTP module to connect to your .NET Core Web API backend. During development, you'll typically run your Angular project using the Angular CLI with the command ng-serve while building your backend in Visual Studio. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To build an Angular 4 app on top of ASP.NET Core, you can use SPA templates provided by Microsoft. First, ensure you have the .NET Core SDK and Node.js installed. Install the SPA templates by running a specific command in your terminal. Then, check the available templates to confirm the installation. Next, create a project folder, navigate into it, and scaffold your Angular application using another command. After that, restore packages and dependencies. Finally, start your application with the command .NET run. Your app will be accessible in the browser at localhost on port 5000. And that's it guys. We've gone through, found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers.